How was your day today? Did you have a smooth running day? Or did you have a rough day, a challenging day? What's a word you would use for your day today? Creative, fulfilling, nerve wracking? If you could give it one word. Every day we have is a gift, even if it was a difficult or challenging day. Think about how lucky you are. Are you in a war zone? Are you hiding somewhere in a bunker because some bombs may drop on you? Are you in the hospital with difficulties in breathing or seeing or any other ailments? You see, my friend, it's actually quite easy to be grateful, even when our day has been difficult. Because if you can just be grateful that you don't have any really major issues in your life, like the ones I mentioned, this makes you a very lucky person. Unless you want to be one of those people who, no matter how things are, you like to complain. You take so many things for granted. And I'm just here to remind you of that. That's all I want to do. I want to remind you. I want to remind me. I want to remind us simply how lucky we are to be able to move around freely to have the gift of eyesight, to have some friends, some family, a roof over our head. Now you might say, yes, Alkistis, but are we always gonna look at those basic things? Can't we want more and do more and aspire to more? I have seen so many of my clients who are wealthy, successful, have achieved so many of their dreams, and yet they're still stuck and still frustrated, very often in things that they've been carrying with them since childhood or adolescence. So it never really mattered how beautiful their environments were, they still found a way to be frustrated and angry or resentful. So nothing really changes, you know, with all those dreams you wish to accomplish. You very often think, I'll be happy then. I'll be fulfilled then. That unless you're happy and fulfilled where you are, if you can find contentment, where you are at the simple things of life like a sunset playing with your cat making a salad you know simple things unless you can be happy just reading a book calling a friend up and sharing your day and i am quite certain that even if you achieve all those things that you've been wanting to achieve your thermostat will not have changed much in the future. So it's simply a reminder. Don't put off your happiness and the sense of fulfillment and gratitude. Don't put it off for some time in the future. That future day may or may never come. The only thing we really have is the now, the ever-present ongoing now. I don't know what you're going to choose to be grateful for, but I do know that focusing on gratitude, on something every day, making that part of your day, part of your habits, is going to make such a big difference 
not only that, it actually attracts more of what you have. Whatever you're grateful for tends to multiply, tends to grow. So let's just take a moment to be grateful. Let's just close our eyes together. Take a deep, deep breath. And find one thing that you are deeply grateful for. Focus on that thing. And just open your heart energy to that. And now perhaps you find something else that you can be grateful for. A person, a, the place, a thing. And see as it opens your heart, as it opens your energy, how it attracts more thoughts in that direction. More grateful thoughts. Simply go ahead and keep going from grateful thought to grateful thought to grateful thought. And slowly you will enter this flow of gratitude, this flow of love. Road, my friend, that is the golden path to more and more beautiful things to be grateful for. It's never a question of how many things you possess. It's always a question of what vibration you are in what frequency you are in. Simply bathe yourself in gratitude now. Keep taking deep conscious breaths and enter the state of beautiful gratitude. And say, I am grateful for today. I am grateful for this gift of life and love. And I am grateful for the blessings that are on the way. Thank you. Even for those challenges. And now for part two of this meditation, where we will be going deeper to really reprogram your subconscious mind for optimum result. This longer, extended version is only available to members of my YouTube channel. So thank you for listening all along, and I look forward to reading your comments as you please like and share with your friends on social media. Goodbye for now.